What the heck? Cuban Life is still up and running. I don't see a problem here. Why are people saying stuff like they're not paying out? Is this just a load of bunk? Or are they in the process of exit scam? Hey, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. Now we're just going to cover this uh, quick story here with Cubit Life, alongside uh, all kinds of stuff that has been happening. I was going to say cash effects. I have noticed that the great majority of people who seem to have been pimping Cubit Life are the same people promoting cash effects claiming that they don't have any problems over there with cash effects hmm makes you wonder and want to go hmm anyways guys before we get into this cubit life story and uh, what's gonna be the outcome is it an exit scam are they going to somehow uh, make a rebound from this since they have their website up and running? Or is it just another load of bunk uh, Ponzi scheme that's going to scam out and scheme all you guys? That's what we're going to find out here. Anyways, if this is your first time on this channel, find the big red button. Click on that uh, subscribe button and also on the bell notification icon. That way, every single time I go live with new helpful content, you'll be one of the very first people to get access to this information. Okay, um, look what's happening lately. Cash effects stop paying, and uh, some of the schemers promoting the deal are saying, Hey, Rory, you don't know what you're talking about. You need to do some more due diligence and research. I don't think these guys have any more words. It's like they're reading off of a script. That's all they say. Hey, you're lying. You're not telling the truth, Rory. Don't listen to these YouTubers. We are fancy schmancy lifestyle marketers. Nobody wants affiliate marketing. Hey, I actually made a video about affiliate marketing and why most people fail. I highly recommend if you're trying to build anything extraordinary, meaning you want to change your lot in life, that you watch this video. Most people will not pay attention to the things that they should be paying attention to. Okay, but let's just take a look in the internet. Uh, make money or crypto la la land let's see what's going on cash effects stop paying their investors even though some hardcore recruiters are still claiming that hey it's chugging along okay uh, there is a guy who keeps commenting on my videos and he looked i used to live in a little tiny apartment building um, when i had some issues in my life in the past and I had this neighbor that used to live upstairs, and he looked like a wannabe biker. And there's a guy who keeps commenting on my videos, and he looks just like this guy. He looks like he wants to be a biker, too. And he always comes and says, hey, you need to do more due diligence and research. Um, nobody believes you. You're not credible, but yet he keeps coming back and watching my videos. I like him, actually. Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, he's probably one of my key viewers, maybe a subscriber even. I would say 95% uh, of the people who watch these videos on this channel are not even subscribers. I actually checked that out. I've got like, what, 9,000 subscribers now, but according to YouTube, uh, analytics 95 percent of the people who actually watch my videos regularly are not subscribers i think they don't subscribe because they're like oh we don't want to contribute to this guy's channel even though we keep coming back and you know getting the information from for free whether we like his information or not 
So cash effects is not paying because of a Bitcoin crash. Um, Tekra collapses. Twindax collapses. Impera Solutions and Merlex both collapse. Uh, cash effects, SEC, Philippines, fraud warning. I think it's like the 20th one someone was telling me. I thought it was the 15th or 16th. Um, but people still, one guy upgraded in cash effects three days ago. And he even made a video on YouTube saying that he upgraded from a $300 package up to $70,000, turned his money into Bitcoin, and then funded the cash effects scheme. Makes you wonder and even say stuff like, hmm, during a Bitcoin decline, who in their right mind would do something like that? Especially when cash effects members are complaining about not getting their withdrawals that they used to get every single week, right? I don't know who does stuff like this. Anyways, guys, let's get into Qubit Life. A bunch of things uh, we're going to look at here. Webinar. Okay. These guys had a big event. Let me just type that in. A big ev event. Qubit Life event. Do buy. Let me just see if there's any images here. So they had... Cubitech Dubai event completely successful. Was it really? Because after that event, after that event, they told 250,000 plus affiliate database of members, not victims, that their withdrawals have been suspended. Okay. So these are the things we're going to talk about. Qubit Life, is it Project Endgame now? After their fancy event in, in Dubai, Qubit Life announces to their 250,000 plus affiliate database, no victims here because all of you who took part in Qubit, Qubit Life and Qubit Tech, you signed some agreement that you're agreeing that you potentially will get scammed in the future, right? It's high risk. And the Greg Lyman guy, right, the main guy, CEO guy, has been away sick for three months or so. Isn't that what's happening, guys? Greg Lyman's away, okay? Probably drinking out of coconuts on the beaches of the world, counting his money, but they're telling you guys that what are they telling you guys? They're telling you guys stuff like... Anyways, let me sing a song before we get into that. If you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. If you're, if you're not into yoga. If you have half a brain. If you like making love at midnight. <laughs> In the dunes of a cape. Hey, that's where your big leader is, guys. He is drinking out of beaches. On, he's drinking out of coconuts. He's not sick. Drinking out of coconuts on the beaches of the world. This reminds me of Mirror Trading International. Johan Steinberg from South Africa. He's still MIA, isn't he? He went missing. He's not really missing, guys. He's probably drinking out of coconuts, too. Probably, who knows, you know, slapping uh, champagne glasses with, uh, with old Greg Lyman, right? <laughs> Anyways, little joke there. Then they had a big webinar, didn't they? How many of you guys attended this big webinar hoping that they're going to change your life and somehow rescue you? Apparently, the two main guys didn't show. Greg Lyman and Mark Swickle. None of them. Both were MIA. Who showed up? Some other guy. 
some other guy named where's his name <laughs> Lakov Lakov showed up right a big wig marketer leader of Cuba Tech that delivered the awful catastrophic news and the, the, it's basically in a nutshell in a nutshell, he said, basically, things have changed with Cuban life, and you guys have all agreed to the high risk. And uh, long story short, Cuban life will be paying out in their useless, worthless, meaningless tokens, a.k.a. shit coins. That is worse. I see a lot of you guys complaining about the government. That's worse than the Fed Bank in the U.S. because, you know, they can print dollars and inflate the dollars, right, U.S. dollars. But these characters online, they can go to, they can create, create these uh, crypto shit coins in seconds. It's worse, 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 it's worse than the Fed Banks, guys, isn't it? At least with the federal bank, they got to take time. It's going to cost them money to print paper. It's going to use energy to operate their machines. But with Cuban life, Lyman's drinking out of coconuts on the beaches of the world, probably counting his money right now and making plans for the, his next new deal. And the people who own the Cuban life scheme, you guys are never going to know who they are and uh, you'll never be able to get your money back. Once you handed it over, um, it's gone. There's no victims here. No one should complain. No one should be alarmed. You guys agreed beforehand. And guess what? After Cupid Life finally goes out, it's going to be up and running for a little while longer. It, they haven't gone offline. But when they do, what's going to happen? Most likely, the great majority of people calling themselves victims of Cubit Life or even cash effects are going to go out and look for another deal, another shiny object scam to donate their hard-earned money to. It's a mindset issue. It's a mental issue. It's a gambling issue. You know why? Because with these deals... I wouldn't even call them scams nowadays. Think about it. People can come to Cubit Life. People can come to Cash FX. And they can drop down some money. Whether they lose or they... or they, The only people that make money in a scam, guys, like Cubit Life and Cash FX, are the people who know it's a scam, right? That means the anonymous owners... Uh, their, their CEOs. I was going to say fake CEO, but I think Greg Lyman's probably his real name. Okay. Um, but their CEOs or their appointed CEOs or even their fake actor CEOs, like some of them have paid actors, right? They make the lion's shares of the profits next. And then aside from the owners and admins, are the network marketers promoting the scheme because it's low hanging fruit? Because people, so these, the only way that you can make a substantial amount of money is to actually go out there, learn a skill set of marketing, funnel traffic, um, the art of influence, right? Um, paying your dues, doing personal development to keep the devil out of your ears. The only people that make money with these schemes, aside from the owners and admins, are the network marketers with skill sets. And the passive people are usually S-O-L, meaning shit out of luck. Isn't that what's happening? So the great majority of the masses who are believing uh, into investing are losing way more. And the authorities, SEC, FCA, they don't care. They don't care about you guys. They like this because it makes the people weak and more dependent on the government. I never seen any of them really go after. Maybe they went after like one coin. I don't see them going after Cubit Tech, Cubit Life. They'll issue fraud warnings here and there, and that's about it. 
And then that triggers like less people getting recruited into the scheme because, oh, it's too risky. You'll go to another Ponzi and invest over there. <laughs> it's crazy. But isn't that what's happening? No victims here. So people come into Cupid Life and they see some returns. Like, did you guys see the video that I had in Trinidad? Trinidad, I think some character went and actually created an office. An office in freaking Trinidad using his own money. And they were like, look at that here. Champagne glasses. Boss up shot. Oh, look, we don't care if it's a scam. Trinidad. TNT. TNT. All right, I'm going to close this off, guys. With the idea that people get addicted to gambling even if most of the passive people that don't want to do nothing for the, for the money they just want to click a button they're going to go find another deal that offers them passive return and they get excited at least they're getting something and they get endorphins released in their brains and the excitement and oh my gosh my life's going to change at least they're getting something from this right most people I made a video last night, affiliate marketing, why most people fail, why 97% are doomed before they even start, and it's a mindset issue. Even some of the people promoting these Ponzi's, I sometimes make a joke here and there, network marketers, revenge, a lot of the guys that were pushing Lotions, potions, and pills. Trying to sell to family, friends, and senior citizens in Walmart parking lots. Love these crypto and forex schemes because it's easier to get people in. Most of them wouldn't last one week with a legitimate affiliate marketing program. Okay, so people get into stuff like Qubit Life or Qubit Tech and Cash FX. Because they get a little app showing them that hey I made some money and would and then they're like they pay you out every week. Hey look every week I got a withdrawal. I gave them ten thousand dollars, but look I made a dollar ninety eight. I don't know I'm exaggerating a little here. But they see like some return even though they lose more than they gain. They they want to make money so bad that they see that little return in that app. And they get, they get giddy, head over heels. And they're going to go looking for another one. So for you, you cats promoting Cupid Life and Cash FX, get your gear ready. Because the victims are going to shell out uh, more coins. And you guys could make more referral income.